in uh, your management of your company in Australia, right, um, you're mainly employing uh, ex-Chinese students um, who are in Australian society now. Um, how do you um, uh, adapt? Do you think you're running it in an Australian style or in a mixed Chinese and Australian style? Uh, my business, actually, I may mix. I do mix. Yeah. You know, I use uh, teamwork, leadership yeah. as a uh, Aussie, but I do like uh, management. Sometimes use Chinese. Right. Yeah, use Chinese because I sometimes I feel straightforward to mm -hmm. give you you know Chinese more straightforward. You know, mm -hmm. like you're wrong, but but in Chinese in Aussie maybe they don't speak less straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. But your teamwork, leadership, I really use Chinese. I uh, use, use local way, use Aussie way. Because uh, leadership, I think, is really, really, really different from China and Aussie. Right. In China, the, tit the leader is being given. Yeah. The name and title and the, the everything is being from the other side they give to these people. No matter these people, good or right. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I, I just like him. I just yeah. gave him. Yeah. But in Aussie, it really depends the leader themselves. They need to have power to approve they are the best one. Yeah. Yeah. I use this way, I use this information to transfer to my staff, to my lecture, you know, team, also to my students as well. You the leadership you should build up by yourself is not someone give to you. So you don't need to okay, if you get a one salary rise or you want to change your job, you ask yourself. You don't need to ask your leader, your, your manager. Ask yourself, have you ready to go? Have you ready to the role? Have you have the ability to finish the role? Mm -hmm. This is my question. Yeah. Yeah. But from in the personal, you know, Chinese we have more relationships with the staff sometimes. Also we have relationship, you know, you know, in, in personal I will have my system, my staff all my best, you know, if, if they want, for example, if they want to buy a car or if they want to hire, you know, move to a house in Australia, maybe they want, you know, many personal stuff, I want help, I, if I can, yeah, but in Aussie, I think they don't care, yeah, yeah. so use, uh, you know, leadership, management, uh, I use Aussie, but, you know, some relation set up, or maybe like uh, small uh, problem solving skills, I still use Chinese way. It's, it's fast and at the same time they can evolve more people. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, on the surface, the major th thing appears to be when I observe your staff is that um, you, it is exactly what you're saying. It is this mixture of leadership and uh, and ch you know Chinese big big person type yes, um, routine. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. And uh, uh, have have you observed that in other um, companies run by Chinese uh, Australians of Chinese background, such as yourself? Is this a style that um, you've seen elsewhere amongst your friends? <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. Be, you know, these days I've been doing a lot of consulting. I talk to you, oh, right? right? Okay. Yeah, I do a lot of consulting right. stuff to my uh, friends' yeah. company. They yeah. are very good business in Australia. They manufacture, they have around, totally have 300 oh, right. in, employees. Right. I think they do the same way as me. Right. Yeah, they do the same way as me. You know, some, you know leadership or something, they use Chinese, but uh, Australian way, you know, maybe the legal thing, maybe like the position, maybe everything. But the uh, the team building sometimes they use Chinese way as well, yeah, especially yeah. the partnership as well. Right. Because people, you know, we are Chinese, we need small, we are small group in Australia. Yeah. So most of the time in, in Australia, the, all, the Chinese people want to work together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 